on, oh, uh, let's see. You guys are on mission number three. I included the handout for the mission. You guys have... It's going to be a Space Hulk. You guys got to retrieve a mysterious device, and the Inquisitor is going to... The, a new Inquisitor is going to be arriving and in, uh, instructing on what you guys are going to be looking for. Uh, Inquisitor Orthodomos has other obligations to deal with, and he's taken... Um, Yelmug's uh, strike team or kill team to deal with that. Okay, so this is long after the crash, then. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That was the end of the mission because the the reinforcement fleet was on its way, and it was just one LDR ship in space. That you guys alluded that. So I, I thought I thought we were gonna have to do a survival thing where we crawl. No, 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 no. That's that'd be very boring. So I'm trying to expedite this. So you guys would have survived it. You guys linked up with the Inquisitor Orthodromos. The 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 rescue fleet came, saved you guys, pulled you guys out, and then reassigned you to the next mission. I'm setting up his image token. Give me one second. Damn, we get to fight chaos! Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Chaos I'm space marines. So yeah. Uh, so, so the tertiary, or sorry, the primary objective is to secure that. Secondary objective is to uh, secure, designate a docking area on the space hawk to, to establish a foothold uh, and safely ingress for the rest of the mission. Uh, the kill teams to search for any information, data logs, relics that could shed light on the nature of the chaos forces present within the Space Hulk. Uh, generate vital intelligence with aid in future operation against the chaos space marines and their potential elite forces. And elimination of the enemy kill team. Give me one second. I just gotta make this. Why did it not? Ah, there it is. And... And you guys already level up as well from the last last game? Nope. No. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. If you, if you have any leveling up to do, Oh yeah, did we? Uh, you should have got XP. How much XP we got last time? I think we got like two thousand or something. I don't remember. Twenty-one hundred. Again? Twenty-one hundred. Twenty-one hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Does anybody know about the area we're sitting at XP wise? Because I'm not sure if I wrote it down or not. I have spent for me twenty-seven thousand four hundred with two thousand sixty in the bank to be ready to be spent. I have spent twenty six hundred to twenty six thousand five hundred. And you have how much to be spent? Uh, two thousand five hundred. All right. Okay. Then we're all sitting about the right one. I must have wrote it down. Oh yeah, did we like uh, our uh, renown thing? Did we? I think you guys did. It? I think you guys did resolve that you had like what fifty something renown. Sixty-four. So yeah, that's what I thought. Something like that. All right. Okay. Uh, so as you guys are waiting on, yeah, your new new vessel. Because our Sorry, old me... rough bucket Thunderhawk was blown to smithereens. Yeah. Right. You guys are just patiently waiting the new Inquisitor coming down to us to uh let's see. And you guys are aboard 
Starfire Vengeance. The cruiser. Um oh yeah, your your uh, acquisition totals. Uh forty per character. Okay. We should have sixty four in total. Oh wait. I- no, Wait, uh, requisition. This is requisition. requisition. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty. Okay. So you're going up. You're going up against uh, Chaos Space Marines of. Oh. Mhm. Yeah. Okay. So sixty of requisition. So I don't oh, know how that. Forty. Me. Oh, forty. Sorry. Uh, also, I'd like to remind you, uh, Tesseract, that we have yeah. nine Void Dire Swords that we collected from those uh, Eldar. Oh, rank are you guys again? Uh, nine Four. Void Dire Swords. Oh, rank? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we're, we're approximately rank four. I think after the level up, we'll end up being four? No, no, no. We're current, well, the current XP that I've spent, I'm rank four. Yeah, and same. I've got a thousand yeah. left over. After um, we've spent all our XP, we should be low four. We should be like 50 or 100 XP away from rank five. That doesn't sound right at all. Well, rank five is uh, 30,000. And after I spend all mine, I'll be sitting at 29,460. So we'll just be just a few hundred XP away from rank five. Hmm. My total XP is 2,000 off. I must be off then. Let's see. Which page is the total XP and whatnot and ranks? Uh, it is on page 58. Because <clears throat> rank 4 is 25,000 to 29. 1,999 XP. Alright, so... Uh, Once you hit 30,000, you go to rank 5. Yes. Basically, every 5,000 XP at this point is is another rank. I would still be rank 4. I would not be able to get to rank 5, but I'll be pretty darn close. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll be just a few hundred XP away from getting to rank 5. So you guys are all sitting around 29,000 total XP? In total, yes. I'm yeah, sitting... For some reason, I'm 1,000 XP off. I'm 29,500. Yeah, mine's oh, 28,500. Some of us got bonus. Someone of us got bonuses. I know, but... Yeah, but it's but not like 1,000 XP bonuses. Yeah, it's not 1,000 mm-hmm. worth of bonuses. I'm sitting at 28,050 XP. In total? total. Yeah. It could be a missed I mean... session or something. But if I add 2,100, I'm way over you guys, too. Hmm. Should I add just like 1,100 to keep pace? or? That's a GM decision. I would be... If I spent all of my XP, my total spent would be 26,750. Yeah, make sure you're matching them, Moth. I don't want you to be behind at all. All right, so everybody should be around twenty nine thousand five hundred. Something like that. I'm twenty nine thousand. Period. All right, then twenty nine thousand ish it is. So we're at, I guess, another three thousand XP. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. I don't know how that discrepancy came about. But good thing we talked about it. <laughs> May have been missing uh, XP totals every now and again. Forgot to write it down or something. Yeah, it could be. So I guess we don't have the horror rifle anymore, huh? No, that was taken by the Inquis- Inquisitor. Arthur almost would have taken any any exotic weaponry of your guys'. Oh, what? Well, the Including the void swords? You can use requisition to keep some of that stuff if you if you need it. Are but as far moves? as that, but as far as that demonic weapon, as far as the Inquisitor's eyes, he had you destroy it. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Demonic weapons, of course, will be taken away. But just Xenos weapons. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So, the, uh, to that end, the Eldar Dire Swords, um, yeah, would they have be destroyed? Or... Uh, yeah. so do you keep them for 15 acquisition? Yeah, we'll can do one? that. Um, also... No, can we do, like, can we study them before they are destroyed? Well, the, yeah. originally our plan was that we were going to essentially, for lack of a better term, melt them down and then recast them into being Space Marine-sized. Right. Because <laughs> otherwise they're just toothpicks. Or maybe for a, a single He's... Sister of Battle to use? <laughs> Question mark. We went from being initiated straight to feigned. Yeah. As far as renown goes. The second right. lowest uh, tier of renown. Or the second highest tier of renown. Well, you guys went through a lot, so... Yep. With, with six more trash. renown points, we are all heroic. <laughs> Which is Damn. the highest renown we can get, and all weapons and equipment will be available for us. Maybe after the next mission. Who knows? Who knows? If we survive. Dun, dun, dun. True. Um, also, uh, Boko, remind me after the session... Uh, I do want to talk to you about my character. A couple things, but... Yeah. Um... Alright. So, I would like to try and... Melt down the forehead! And you guys would still have access to that that talking you guys made the first session. We haven't really used that. Yeah, but you still have it's still in your guys' repertoire. So what, uh, is, what is it? Sorry? The toxin you guys developed. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What about the, uh... Okay, so... I want to do... What is it? Tech use to see if I can forge a weapon using the dire swords. Okay, minus 80. Minus 80, alright. You are dealing with uh, not Imperial stuff and y'all basically technologically backwards compared to Eldar. Uh... They are. They view humans as beneath them. That is true. Can I do a Xenos lore roll to see if I can get a better roll for tech use? You can do, you can do a roll, won't do any good. Uh, but I'll give you something. I'll give you right. something. Alright. So what's the modifier in the Xeno Swore roll? Minus 20. Ooh. Okay. So you, have some insight. you have some insight. Um, uh, you know that this is uh, for elite shock troops of some sort. Uh, you know the variant of uh, Eldar blade this is so it gives you at least a somewhere to go with so minus 70 all right so you know your character knows it's going to be extremely difficult brothers it will be extremely difficult to turn these weapons for our own use oh all right and you broke it can i fade point that <laughs> yeah of course you can all right oh yeah oh uh, do, do we we got all healed right yeah, so our now. wounds and critical damage is now zero? Yeah, I think so. Holy shit. Oh, actually, it depends how much uh, critical damage did you have. Two. Yeah, really broken. In fact, what what, what role was that? Uh, let's see. Oh, that... Okay, 79. Here. The 79, yeah. Uh, I didn't quite plaster myself there. Right. Brothers, I, I can make at a very reduced rate, so hold on. I can make no use of these weapons. You gotta need more. Well, I was going through the document. And we could probably bring in Vengeance Rouse. 
which increases pen by nine, and are supposed to design against Chaos Space Marines. Mm. It gains a failing, failing quality one, and increases pen increase by nine. But if you do an attack roll between 91 and 100, that uh, explodes right at the arm with a uh, pen of five. And I uh, jams the weapon. All right. Uh, by the way, who's going to be your captain this uh, this time? Good question. Uh, dude, would you like to be captain again? Since you're the tactical pull... marine. Are we going to pull a straw or something? <laughs> the shortest yeah, straw that's, 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 the yeah, we'll draw straws. As a vote among you guys, who's going to be captain on this mission? Well, usually, Tanko Marine is usually a leader, anyways. I don't usually. mind. I don't mind being a leader again. I have poor leadership stats for it. What about you, Yelmog? I have uh, whatever bonuses we want to get out of it. Yeah, let's look at the bonuses again. Oh yeah, question, would I repair, would my armor get repaired? All of it's full, so. you're all back to full strength. Great. So. This is essentially like, this is essentially like a session zero for mission three. Got it. Session 3.0, 3-0. Oh, mission. Yeah, I know. Sure. Yeah, because mission 2, you guys got as far as... Well, the, honestly, that mission was just to find the Black Ops site and deal with the that that orc. You you fought the boss of that mission. You, that tin can, that was the boss. The, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... It was up to you whether you guys were going to push on that objective, because I had a whole fortress you guys would have been imposing fortress, or if you dealt with the entity, so. I see. I would, have, I would have really enjoyed assaulting an orc fortress, but I'm sure there <laughs> will be opportunities for that in the future. Right, so yeah, that was more of like a crash introductory, like shit hit the fan into mission number two. <laughs> right. All right, so here are the, uh, our the benefits for the various O's that we could take. I'll just lift off the benefits, and then, you know, we decide based on which one. Uh, plus two cohesion bonus. So, you know, you could use squad abilities more often, but we forget that we have them. Um, plus 10 to willpower tests. Plus one renown per objective, which, honestly, at this point, we don't need that anymore. Um... Plus 10 to weapon skill and ballistic skill versus a chosen enemy or reroll a psychic phenomena. Hmm. Um, plus 10 to all tests to resist cohesion damage and plus 1 to cohesion challenges, which again, we don't really use cohesion a lot or the squad abilities because we forget about them. Um, and the last one is ignore jams and reroll tests to confirm righteous fury. Uh, well, you did use that it that part might be good considering we're not fighting Xenos. Yeah, you guys did use it that last game a lot because you guys were together moving as a, as a unit. That's like the only one that we've really used though. Right. Is the tactical advance, and that's it. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, having extra willpower can't hurt, especially since we're going up against chaos. Uh, what was it? Uh, plus 10 to weapon skill tests against a certain enemy? Was weapon that skills and ballistic skill versus a chosen enemy. We and then I specifically fight. also get to re-roll a psychic phenomena. We do know we're going to fight Chaos Space Marines. Can we do a, a crash course on Chaos Marines? Uh, they're like us. Exactly evil. like you. Yep. Uh, evil, so they... They're like, like standard, standard-wise... They're basically just us with worse gear, um, because they but, have old heresy era gear. But they're empowered by chaos, so there might be some mutations and stuff 
they give them extra abilities. Also Chaos Sorcerers. But uh, that's basically the same as just fighting a normal uh, librarian. Just we're really f oh. chaos flavor. God, but, we don't know if, but we don't know if we're fighting sorcerers. We just know there's an elite group of chaos marines. Yeah, and in terms of lore, like chaos marines are basically the ultimate heretics because they betrayed uh, the emperor and they've succumbed yeah, to uh, their desires. You know. Some did. Some were forced to. Some yeah, were yeah, prideful yeah. and others... Yeah, some were tricked. Others just followed because that's just what the looters were. Others did it willingly. Um, others are still fighting for the Emperor uh, or for the Empire. Uh, it, it's a whole bunch of other stuff. But regardless, they're all generally going to be tainted by chaos regardless of whether they wanted it to or not. Um, yeah. Yep. It might be better if we do both acknowledge them. Perhaps. Oh, also, Moff, are you going to brand us all again? Uh, possibly. It does protect against demonic stuff. I mean, now, just because we're fighting Chaos Marines doesn't mean there's going to be demonic entities. But it did say that Chaos in Marines the... are just as subjectable to the attacks of demons as regular people are. But yep. it, it does say that we have unexpected enemy forces, and potentially we might face demons. Okay, well, if it says that, then, yeah, we we might face well be. We might not. We might do. So, Boko, do we know what chapter the Chaos Marines are going to be from? I would imagine we don't find that out until we run into them, I guess. So you want intel? So the Inquisitor is going to tell you all, give you all the intel when he arrives. Got it. To chat with you guys. You guys are patiently wait, awaiting in the hangar to be informed by the this new Inquisitor of this certain sector. Arthur Domos uh, thanks you for you guys for your service and moves on. And he assigns Brasora with you guys to handle the transition over to this new Inquisitor. Not and Inquisitor Brasora, the Dur Dantes. Yeah. So Brasora, your character would know this Inquisitor. It is. Having worked with him before a little bit, it is Mangus Blackthorn. He is a uh, no nonsense, like hellfire, blow up planets type of character. Oh, ah, yeah, so you know, he's, he's exterminatus. He's an exterminatus yeah. type character. <laughs> um, ah. Sweet. So if he sees heresy, he he doesn't like it. That's my kind of inquisitor. You know, uh, well, yep. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Right, so you, yeah, he's the Inquisitor most likely to kill you. Yes. yes. Oh, you know he's Mr. very Spanks guardsman a lot. Yeah, so <laughs> you know this guy's very. <laughs> you know he's very ruthless, even by Inquisitor standards. So. Oh damn. Tess, uh, one of our objective is is to find out about the Space Marines. So we don't know. Yeah, he's going to inform you of all that he knows. Look, all I'm saying is corporal punishment is not heresy. <laughs> okay? The way you did it. Actually, depends on the chaos god. <laughs> yeah. But I don't serve the chaos gods. I serve only the Omnissiah. It doesn't matter if you serve them or not. They take worship from whatever forms they get. Yeah. For example, we all worship corn, regardless. Yes. All Damn. combat empowers corn. Doesn't matter where the blood comes from, so long as blood flows. Right. All right. So it sounds like I'm taking maybe oath of knowledge to get that plus ten weapon skill and ballistic skill bonus. I like that idea. <clears throat> Uh, it's squad mode abilities are go to ground, dig in, and strong point. So there's no free uh, movement with this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and only I can be the squad leader. Do you accept the Menego? Who? No. Oh. The Menego. He is the leader then. If that's going to be more. 
potentially most beneficial one, you can be the leader. Okay. All right. Uh, then I guess I'm the score leader for this one. Uh, so we'll all get plus 10 weapon skill and plus skill against Chaos Marines. Ooh. EP. You know what sucks? I accidentally included my notes in the wrong section. So you probably saw things that wasn't supposed to be. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we did. Yep, no I did worries. Click. I no. didn't read too much of it, though. I didn't read any of it. I didn't even know we had that. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Mission number three objective. It gives you all the objectives that you need, guys. Look at this one, though. So they'll be encountering hazardous areas of stuff. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> that's I had it all prepared, and then I'm like, oops. <clears throat> <sighs> Anyways. So whenever you guys are done, ready to, we can bring on the Inquisitor, because you guys are patiently awaiting the operation. Yep, soon. Hold on. So, Vasora, do you wish to divulge any of this information to this kill team that you guys are with about the what they expect from you? Because you know the Inquisitor. Because yes. Yeah, okay. So, because the kill team themselves was not informed that this was happening. It is you that was informed that that they're going to reassign this kill team to this mission, since yeah. the renown precedes them, and they 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 think they can. After the shit they went through, they think they're the perfect team to deal with this. Probably the only team at this point in that sector. Yeah. Yeah, cause there are other Death Watch kill teams, but. There are on other missions. They, in fact, they took uh, Yalmug's kill team and had them go somewhere else that they were, they were needed. Every characteristic advance is plus five, right? Yeah. You can just change the drop down underneath each of the characteristics. However, I found an issue with doing that. Uh, it'll add that bonus when you roll, but it doesn't actually change your score. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I've just been adding it manually. Plus, I have a uh, higher bonuses than the, the drop down allows. Yeah. Yeah. Did I uh, add it manually or just use the drop down? I think Up plus to 10 is not going to give me much of a bonus. It depends on like what kind of rolls you have. Because like some damage, or not damage, um, yeah, like hit rolls, maybe some test rolls, they take your value and not the, the they don't add the plus 10 if you're yeah. using like a macro or something. Yeah. Like if it boosts you over uh, the next value, the, it changes your bonus value. Um. So so, so, for example, you have 47 and you have plus 5, it doesn't reflect the 5 bonus, like the... the uh, so it's better to manually put it in then. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. like the agility bonus, it won't actually increase your agility bonus with the drop down. So if you went from like 48 to 53, you wouldn't gain extra movement because the sheet doesn't calculate that with the drop down one. Now, I've just been using the drop-down one for, like, temporary bonuses and stuff. Like, my armor specifically gives me plus 10 strength while I'm wearing it. So I just use the drop-down for that. Wait, what the hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I have, I have talents I can take that give me XP. What? 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 A rival cult. I get 300 XP for taking that. Are you sure? No, yes. The cost is minus, 3, 000, minus 300 where everything else is uh, positives. Probably because that's a <laughs> negative trait. I yes, imagine. that that would be uh, a, a, a cult becomes, oh, I get it, an imperial cult. One of the sections of the um, ecclesiarchy becomes my enemy or a rival oh, that's right. that's that makes more sense you subtract negative xp therefore you gain xp yeah i could just get another 600 using that but it's not really going to have any effect in this campaign so i'm not gonna i'm gonna ignore those 
Uh, one uh, thing I might recommend for our acquisition gathering for this mission uh, is the Astarte Signum and the Signum Link. Each Signum Link is 20 requisition, but the Signum itself is 35. And what it does is it gives everybody a plus five bonus to ballistic skill while we're in squad mode. And uh, range characters gain the gang up bonus when shooting at range. Ooh. So not just melee characters. And whoever has the Signum, if they spend a full action doing a tech use test and succeed, that bonus increases to plus 10 for everybody for the round instead of plus five. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. And that's like in addition to our plus 10 for uh, our oath bonus. Mm -hmm. I that could easily 20, 30, 40, 50. That could easily go up to like a plus 50 to hit people. I took a faith talent that adds my willpower bonus to everybody's toughness bonuses when uh, reducing damage. That's going to be nice to use. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? I took a faith talent that lets me add my uh, willpower bonus to everybody else's toughness bonus to reduce damage. Holy for a combat shit. Encounter. It also reduces the amount of critical damage taken by one down to zero. Does it add the so. uh, willpower bonus to our toughness bonus prior to it being unnatural, like using the natural bonus or after? So, for example, if I have five toughness bonus, does it get? Do I get a bonus to five? Yeah, it would be ten. I... Okay. It just it's additive, not multiplicative or anything. All right, that's something I'm going to keep in mind. Keep in mind that's something I have to activate, and it only lasts for one combat. Mm -hmm. I can also turn it into a glowy light bulb that lights heretics on fire. Cool. Oh, sorry guys, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, well, Trying to well, stay morning. awake desperately. Go take a you. walk. Go told you get you. a coffee or something. Yeah. I don't know. I've been sipping coffee. I need an espresso. I need to go to bed. No, it's cool. We could finish up with the overview and the XP and then just call it for the day. Yeah, that's fine if you're tired. No, 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 no. So, like, I'm trying to think, like, what all do we need to get done this session? Because our next mission is... Literally this session, if you want to continue. Yeah, let's continue. I mean, I could use some uh, gear improvements. Well, I did try to fix the uh, Dire Swords. But then they blew up. Sure, but none of my weapons or armor has ever had the uh, upgrade treatment on them. Oh yeah, I, I got one of two Brias. Uh, go ahead, do you, do you guys this thing? I'll be back in like five minutes. All right. So I'm gonna assume what? that Boko will want me to do three tech use rolls for your armor. Cigars. What? My my love. Well, Boko, you're not muted. No, I know, dude. Sorry. Just wanted to warn you. Public yeah. displays of affection. <laughs> he, 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 he's the done some stuff on home. mic. He's, he's done some stuff on mic before. Uh, oh. Uh, back. And you're recording. Yeah. <laughs>
You know, it's nothing personal. I'm talking about cigars. Whoop, whoop de doo. Um, I have smoked a cigar or two in my time. Only two. Yeah. All right. Some Fair. of you three tech use just straight up. Uh, if there's any bonus or penalty that I need to apply, we can do that. So those three are going to be fixing up moths, weapons, and armor? Question mark? So, uh, Boko, I don't know if you remember many, many sessions ago when I souped up everybody's armor. I'm trying to do that for Moth right now, Brazora. Uh, tech use? Okay. Yeah, I did back. three rolls, so those last three is going to be it. And those are flat with no modifier. So if you wanted to say, like, minus this much or plus this much, I guess just add it to the rolls. I would also love you to do rolls. that to my armor and my force staff. Yes, I'll do that and as I'll well. Even, uh, and I'll adding. even have prescience on while you do it. Or a possibility shield on while you do it. Don't that forget to add true. in like a uh, a block. Like put in this is for this armor after it so you know how to break it up. Alright. So this will be... Moth armor. And then this will be... <laughs> and then this will be do, do, do. I know I misspelled that, but it's fine. And you'll you'll be getting a plus ten each of these rolls for the possibility show. Oh, okay. So that would be five, six point six, and three point eight. Oh, okay. That's the other doing it. And then for my staff? For your staff? Alright, I'll do that. Yeah. So it's what, plus 10? Yep. Ooh. 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 Alright. This is... Man, AI art is weird. Yeah, it is. I told it to make uh, a decent description of my character. Of Prisora here. It gave her a lightsaber. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Oh, I saw this thing, uh, <coughs> like, AI making gods and uh, mythical beings and stuff for, like, every country. Uh... And the god for North Korea was just Kim Young Un. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. It was literally nice. just a picture of him. Alright. And it's like final boss for every land. And again, it was just a picture of Kim Young Un. You guys are all done? Level up yeah, your guys. So oh. real quick, Boko. Um I've got three rolls to modify or improve Moth's armor. I've so what way are you trying to modify it? Do you try to make it tougher? Or are you trying to make it... Well, remember that, uh... The thing where you basically just rolled uh, random results and stuff for yeah, yeah. Uh, armor? Yeah, Same kind of thing. Yeah, do that yeah. then. I already did. You did. Well, so, would you roll 1d10? One, one what? Uh, no, I just rolled the tech use for each one. Right, what are you trying to do? you trying to boost its overall, like, numbers? Or are you trying to boost... What are you trying to add to it? So... Like Yoma just said, remember when uh, there was a point, it was in between missions, um, Moth was still on his old character, so was Yilmug, and there were... We were adding, like, modifiers and stuff to our weapons and armor. Right. Yeah, it okay. changed the armor values and added bonuses and stuff to it. Oh, 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 okay. That, Yeah. You, so, okay, give me one second. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Um, right, sweet. Me. And, and Moth's armor what, is going to be fucking god tier. What is your armor, Moth? What's it called? 
Uh, let me find it real quick. Sororitas Power Armor. Can you put in the chat? He got a total of like 24 successes to upgrade his armor. Uh, he can use that tech. And what does your character do again? Flies, right? Does it does that integrate into the power armor itself? That's uh, a it's, a, thing. it's a jetpack added to it, so it's separate. So it's it's pretty much just power armor. Okay. One second, da, 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 and I guess it would go under. I guess it just really drop it in the Death Watch chat itself. There you go. You could choose one of those feature sets or two. With 24 successes, he only gets... Oh, he yeah, has 24 successes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All four, okay. then. Oh, shit. I mean, there's five. Yeah, there Is there five. five? Yeah. Okay, four, then. You can choose four. Because you'd be like, oh, I want this specifically. Your character would... I could ditch the integrated jetpack since I already have one. Okay. And it uh, seems to do the exact same thing. Right, you said you had a jetpack that was built in, so I... Oh, wait, I, no, that would allow 50 meters of movement for a single move? Holy shit. That's a pretty good jetpack. And then who else was getting an armor upgrade? Me. So, so uh, for Moth's character, I have yep. the 20 degrees of success or whatever it is. Mm. And then... The next three is for Ericlides, so I got... I didn't factor in the possibility shield. It's 14 right. degrees of success. What What is your armor type, Yelmug? It's just standard power armor. Okay, so then I can... Okay, cool. Yeah, standard is so, power armor. So, uh, quick bigger, question here, Boko. That enhanced, that enhanced durability. Yes. Is that a plus 8 to the armor rating, or just 8 armor rating? 8, 8, 8, 8. That's a reduction. Is it? I like yes. how it says enhanced durability. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's normally your... uh, 11 body, 10 everywhere else. Okay. Unless I'm... Hold on, wait a minute. Roll a 1d20 and then replace that number. <laughs> Rose a 1. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but he also generates a force field. Yeah. It's only worth, you know, one minute, but... And then... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh and my god, it comes in second. Could. Yes! Hell yeah. Oh, wait. I'm <laughs> reading nine. Jesus. How horrible. Oh, okay. Oh no, God. that is an increase of one armor. Okay. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Sorry, I forgot I had something else that was boosting my armor. Cool. I love how the armor rating on this one, though, that you rolled for me is literally half. It's less than half. Uh, keep your Oof. same armor value. Don't worry. I mean, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll roll 1d9 no. and add that to your current armor. Let's okay. do that. And then, same as. Uh, Moss character, choose four. Choose four? All right. I will skip oh, the durability shit. and take the rest. Okay. Oh, wait, no. 
Sorry, it is actually better. I've I've misread my shit again. Uh, it I is a one point better well. than uh, my stuff. Sweet. So but I'll well, just, since I told you to do that, just do it. So. I'll just will increase everything by nine, or just increase everything by the difference of whatever it is to that. Because mm. I'd rather just take the one point difference. Yeah, I'll well, do that. That makes more sense. Because I'm that sure it balanced. Because otherwise, wanna... it's like <laughs> OP. Yeah. Strength requirement seventy. Holy crap! Oh, I don't have seventy strength. Uh, I think your unnatural strength would uh, compensate. Uh, would it? My strength is only forty. Unnatural strength gives me uh, times a three extra bonus. Maybe I'll I'll just it'll just you have, work. You have so, the equivalent of one hundred and twenty strength. Yeah. So, how which of these bonuses do I get to keep? Uh, you choose. Player choice. Well, how many? That's what I said. Four. Four of them? Okay. Yeah. Uh, who else was getting armor enhancements? Uh, well, definitely keep the psychic. Just uh, those uh, two, and then... The I next roll was an enhancement to my staff. Yeah. Okay. A four staff. A, a Stardis four staff. Yeah. Uh, if I could, I'd also like to improve my weapons. All right, uh, let's see. I'm also going to do three techies rolls to try and convert Karnoth's chain sword into a bastard sword. So I'm going to do that. Because he specifically whispered asking for that. Okay. And there we go. There's this, there's this. Or staff. Yeah, so there was the next three rolls after Eric Lady's armor is for uh, buffing his staff. Okay, and then who else was. And then you said. Uh, and then uh, Dandy 16, his. Uh, Alter? Chain sword into a bastard. Might have had a chain sword. Okay. I'd like to make it a bastard sword. Yeah. A bastard chain sword. A real bastard. Uh, yeah. Because there is a relic uh, weapon. Let me try and find it. Which has that same uh, thing. Going for it. Uh, let me find it. And then, dude, are you getting enhancements too? Uh, sure. Enhance. Um, enhance. Cause the, you guys are about um, two months away from the objective. Like, you guys are traveling in transition to it. Two months. Damn. All right. Mm -hmm. On the other side of the Imperium, so. Complete opposite where you guys were. Damn, no wonder our reputation precedes us for traveling that far. Yeah. And it's going to be the same damage you have now. My armor's pretty fucking awesome. I get a force hood and an iron halo. I don't have an iron halo in the hand. Holy shit. Yeah, I have a uh, force hood and an iron halo. I got a pet cyber eagle. What? To give me short range telepathic uh, scouting with a plus 10 to my perception. And if I'm reading this right, the integrated force staff mount means I always have a force staff equipped. 
because it says this first half is easily accessible while freeing up the librarian's hands for other tasks. So it means I just always have it equipped. It's almost like Tony Stark thing. It just pops out when you need it. Right, but it basically means I can be using a two-handed bolter and then also just be able to attack with my four staff. Oh, mine are pretty good too. Like I a have man. a... Uh... A shield generator I can turn on once per combat encounter to give me plus two armor rating for a full minute. That's kind of nice. And then, mm -hmm. uh, Tesseract, I'm assuming you're making enhancements to dude's armor? Well, I've already enhanced his armor. Did he, dude, did what, I, did what, I roll his armor yet? Uh, I don't know. Dude, what do you want I think enhanced? that was, that was the original armor set enhancement, right? Oh, let's see. I could use weapon enhancements, just my infernal pistols. Dude, I yeah, could. Uh, I could enhance. If you your already enhanced my heavy bolter. Just heavy bolter is already enhanced. Oh, is it? All right. I think we did enhance the heavy bolter. For armor, I think we already enhanced the armor too. Yes, uh, yeah. everyone's armor and weapons have been enhanced, from my knowledge. To my knowledge, my weapons have not been enhanced. I mean, previously. Oh, uh, what gotcha. weapon do you want? What weapon do you want? I have a pair of Seraphim Inferno pistols. Would you like me to try and work on those? Yes, please. All right. If that's okay with Poco. Yep. Uh, do I get to choose uh, for my new weapon, apparently? Uh, can I keep my old weapon, but just make it be usable with one hand and, like, less damage? Boko? So you're a acquisitioning a new chain sword and having him no, uh, so, no, no, no. So I have my old sword, my old Blade of the Black Shields. I would yep. just like to convert it to be a bastard sword. I don't want, like, any oh, chain yeah, 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 you can use it. Like I said, you can use just the abilities and whatever from this sword and add it to your current weapon. Oh, okay. How many abilities? Four? Yeah, four. All right. Pretty my, good deal. My birds are awake because they started singing and they set each other off. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Cobbler, I'm going to fate point that last tech roll of yours, if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a good cool. tech roll or a bad tech roll? It's a bad one. It's not a terrible one, but it's not a great. Hey, you rolled a ninety-seven. Game. It's bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would have. I would have said, uh, and give it a defect or something, and it would be forced on the weapon. Defect detector. No, it'd be a defect that you guys would be un. Uh, you wouldn't know. It would be. Uh, it would. Just, it would just be there, like something might happen. Oh man. So, am I allowed to fade point that or? Yeah. 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 You guys All are right. two months out. You guys are. All right. You guys can make his. Uh, this will be plus twenty with the possibility shield. That's a little better. Ten modifications. I'll give you that. You guys have up to ten, including the ones you guys just did. Would these? Would this pair of pistols count as two or one? I'm just gonna. Mod I'm just gonna give you stats, and you can it mod it'll modify both of the pair. Uh, modify the pair. Right. So what do you roll this time? Something better. 3.4 uh, yeah. as opposed to 0 0.5 success. Yeah. Like before, you get to choose four. And if it's only four, you know, then you get four. Nice. Oh shit! What? That's a really good roll! Burning Radiance, I get plus 10 bonus to hit against Chaos Align targets. Oh! Not bad, not bad. Good thing we're uh, about to fight Ka Well, not a good thing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 Oh shit, once per combat encounter, I can give plus 10 willpower to everybody in 5 meters? Damn. Hmm. Damn. Right, Thomas. So there's a uh, undefined ability on one of these. Uh, the psychic feedback, it says when I successfully defend against a psychic 
attack. Uh, it can absorb and redirect a portion of that energy. Once per combat, I can unleash this stored energy as a devastating psychic blast, dealing additional right, damage to the target. All right, who am I missing upgrade-wise? So you didn't hear anything I just said. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. Try it. Okay. So I said there was a uh, undefined ability on my staff. Uh, it says that uh, when I successfully defend against a psychic attack, uh, it absorbs and redirects a portion of psychic energy. Once per combat, I can unleash this stored energy as a devastating psychic blast, doing additional damage to a target. What does that mean? Because that's where it ends. Additional damage? Let's see what's up. Let me read that one again. And... That's a chain sword. Psychic feedback? Yes. I guess you would take whatever damage they're dealing to you, and then you would apply your damage onto it. I think that's how it reads. Well, because it's if I defend against it. So basically, I can essentially just... You would have done it to me, but you're doing it to yourself now instead. Yeah, that's correct. Redirect okay. the damage back onto them. That's pretty dope. Yeah, once per combat, but still pretty awesome. Yeah, right. So yeah, yeah, that's how that's how I read it. So then the dealing additional damage to a target. So I imagine that would be the damage they were going to deal to you plus whatever you do. Okay, that would work. Well, if I'm defending, I'm not doing damage against them. I mean, whatever your web force staff can do. I think that that's how that reads. Right, but if it's like a psychic, okay. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I understand it's a psychic thing. You have a force staff, so I imagine that's that's how we would handle that. Because oh, okay. you're so, and all right, so I would add whatever damage they would have done to me in that attack. I can then add it to a force staff attack later. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, because it says it stores the energy. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There you that's go. Fun. Okay, cool. So you can build it up. Okay, I kind of like that. Cause yeah, because that's how it reads. That's how I imagine it reading. So yeah, it's, that'd be dope. So I guess just add that clarification to it. Like, you know, as you take damage, you can store that and then blast them right back on your next attack. Yeah. But also, you, you can also redirect their attack to themselves. So, and you would start... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That does make sense. Because, like, nope, you hit yourself, and next turn I get to hit you in the face. With a four staff plus your damage. <laughs> okay, so it's both... Yeah, I think it's because, it, let's see, blah, 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 defends against a psychic, psychic attack, so someone does a psychic bullshit against you, mm -hmm. they would hit I themselves, resist. you would resist and hit it, because it looks like there's no save to it. Now, as, long as, I as long as I resist, or defend against that ability. R right, oh, yeah, 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 if you're able to successfully defend against it. Yeah, successfully. <laughs> and then the caveat for the, because it says stored energy, so I'm imagining it's storing the damage that was going to be dealt to you in the staff and then on your turn you can use that psychic feedback to hit him like hit him with that damage that's how i would read that um, that's what i have a question about yeah. my weapon so it has an ability which gives me enhanced many prowess which gives me a, a 10 plus 10 bonus to weapon skill my original weapon already had that do i add that or do yep. i just okay because it's enhanced, so another plus 10. Got it. Thank you. Anybody mind if I go for more weapon enhancements? <laughs> I can quit anytime I want. Didn't Boko say that we all get Up 10? 10 yeah, it, it, it's 10, 10 total. We've used 5 currently. All right, yep. 10 total, and then uh, whatever the modification you guys want to do. So five more modifications to weapons before you guys get there. Uh, the Inquisitor is going to meet you at the destination itself because he's not actually in transit with warp, you guys, or with warp with you. He's Paul. not on our ship. He's on a different one. That's correct. And he's essentially going to be docking with you guys, giving you the mission briefing, and then you'd be on your way. 
I'm also going no. to... Yep, you're back. I gotta get my food. Alright. So I've got a mace and a pair of bolters I want improved. If that's okay with everybody else. Yeah. The mace is like last since I tend not to go for melee. I'm also going to install a bionic leg. Actually, oh. I'm going to go with... might actually go with two bionic legs, because both my legs got pretty messed up in that acid. <laughs> Bad legs. No, you're not supposed to the fail. The flesh. The flesh is weak. I yeah, it is. Place. That is true. My Iron Halo is literally a 50-50 chance that I just don't take damage. Damn. Yeah. Dude. My shield generator only adds plus two to my armor rating. Which is going to do almost nothing. I mean, I can combine my Come Force back. Hood with a Psychic Hood. That gives me a plus 30 to all my Force tests and to resist Psychic powers to just not get hurt. Which I can then redirect back at the bad guy. Alright, so Boko, I'm giving myself two bionic legs, and then Moth also wanted one other weapon upgrade, so I believe that's eight out of ten things. Does each bionic leg count separate? I don't know. Boko, if I if I craft myself two bionic legs. Uh, are those going to be counted as one thing, one entity, oh, I know. or two? Go a little further and replace the bottom half of your body. Then it's just one <laughs> object. Ah, yeah, that's that a good be, idea. Yeah, that'd be, that, that'd be one object, yeah. Are you wanting to do that? Huge modification? Yes, I'll be uh, Weevil from Metroid Prime Hunters. Uh, I presume uh, you would also need the help of our medic. Yeah, probably. Because, yeah. Yep. Minus 80 on the medic rolls. Oh, holy shit. All right. She's removing the lower half of your body. That's correct. Uh, we Won't better fail. not fuck up. You might die. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> it is possible. Minus 80. It is possible. Uh, am, I doing, am I doing three rolls here? Three rolls? Alrighty. For the first, we're cutting him in half. Don't worry, we have enough eight points to make this work. <laughs> Three rolls for... and the operation. Keep in mind, she hasn't leveled in quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then another three rolls for him healing. So oh, well, I you guess better level you up can... your Medicaid then before you... Yeah, 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 you can just level up. No, she's an NPC. I don't control she's, her. She's an NPC she's, now. She stays what she's at. Don't worry, she had crazy bonuses to begin with. I think but, she has plus, like, 50 to Space Marines. So, so yeah, it's going to be minus 80, and then minus uh, 50, and then the last part is going to be a minus 40. So, 80, what? 50, 40. Right, so so in reality, it's 30, 0, 10. Because she's 30, just minus... that good. Damn. Yep, 30, minus 0, 80. 10. Minus 80 for the first three rolls to cut him in half. Deathly, not killing him. So do that. Yeah. So be minus thirty total. Oh, you better eke out that. Another three for the yeah, yeah. Keep them alive during the operation, and then check. check oh, these. is are these three each or just three total? Three each for each phase. All right. If you fail. Okay, that's successful. And the last part. Oh, <clears throat> gonna fake point that one. I would just like you to know there I have go. a weapon skill of 81. That's just base. And not unlike uh, Elvis, you removed my pelvis. <laughs> I'm assuming you did that the last month during your stretch. It's gonna take you a month to recover from being cut in half. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and spend these. Was it two months? You said. Or how how long are we traveling for? 
Also, Look. don't I have one of my gene seeds is in my gonads? No, it's in your removing? torso somewhere. Oh. Upper torso, yeah. I would like to push my limits and uh, I would like to exercise for as much as I can, for as long as I can, and as hard as I can. Right. So, Mothy, you should have nine total rolls, by the way. Yeah, so far I've got two sets of three. I'm wondering if Cobra should re-roll that uh, negative one there. Yeah, I'd be fine. Like that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to die during the operation. Yeah, it would be a shitty way to die. All right, I guess I'll use my last fate point no to burn that X to 1.8 die. again. All right, there we go. Hey so that is a uh, six, a three, and a two for part two. Part three time. Be healing, so. All right. I'm going um. to, to use up my last fate point on the uh, first one. Medicaid roll there. Yeah, you don't want to start the game off injured. Four, three, four. That's pretty decent. Four, three, pretty four. Pretty flawless operation. You were cut in half, stitched together with your mechanical parts, with the help of the ship's crew, putting you together. And then you heal. So. All right. And um, you need me to give you stats on your legs, right? Yes. Oh, Basically, I'm um, bionic below the waist now. I would imagine that uh, has some bonuses to it. I know it has some positive implications for my flesh is weak. Uh, so let me double check on that. I'll steal over flesh. It's my problem. Well, it says choice. that uh, master crafted like exceptional versions of legs. They uh, give you a plus twenty to jump or leap tests. Oh shit! Go. Why does it do that? Why does the lower body give you a plus twenty to strength? <laughs> The lower body stuff. Because you're lifting with your legs. Come on now. Damn. Plus my attitude to like leg tests. <laughs> I uh. I can kick him. I skipped leg day because I no longer oh have my legs. God. I don't need it. <laughs> you you doubled your normal movement. Are you kidding? I think that adds like a one more multiplier. So instead of his being so. Oh actually. Oh yeah. I've, no, he does. Yeah, he does. Double his move. Yep. Holy shit. Double move. All right. Ooh, plus two armor rating to your legs. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Hey, the plus two to toughness tests. For legs, yes. So that leg bullshit you guys went through, you would have a plus two on that. All right, so... An honor achieved an honor. Ten. So oh, also, he can ignore five meters of falling distance when calculating fall damage. Oh boy, not bad. That's that would have bad. totally helped when that uh, spaceship crashed. You know, <laughs> a whole five meters. Oh man. Well, I did break my legs on the way down, so most likely. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because I got them replaced. Uh, <laughs> were you hammering with like your uh, lower body just all broken, just being limp? <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, uh, Dan, real quick. Yeah? So what was it you were saying about the rarity? Like, it's, it's not going to be common, right? Uh, uh so correct. let me read. Common locomotion bionics, yada, yada, yada. Exceptional versions of these systems grant the owner a plus 20 bonus to test made to jump or leap. It definitely has that in it with the jump enhancement. 
Uh, right. Yeah, I'm at page 210. I don't see what you're talking about. Is it in the supplementary? It's in the Rites of Battle. Oh, okay, Rites of Battle. That's like, man, is this not... <sighs> so, yeah. what other stuff do I get? It's plus... So I get double move speed. I get, what, plus two armor for my legs? Yep. Alright. You can also vertical jump 10 meters, horizontal jump 20 meters, because you have oh, uh, jump jets. That is huge. Oh, wow. Okay. 20 meters sideways jump. My god, Kai. Oh, sorry. Vertical no. jump horizontal 10 meters? Jump. You can jump straight up 10 meters. Just standing still, straight up in the air. Alright, and then horizontal You can jump a house. 20? Yeah, and jump yeah, over like 20 house. horizontal. I'm able to, uh, just like Captain Underpants, I'm able to leap tall buildings without getting a wedgie. I presume he can just, like, jump, like, uh, he's, like, on a trampoline, and he has, like, a sniper rifle, so he can get, like, a aim advantage, like, high ground advantage. Trucks, <laughs> on, on Terminatus. Yep, that's the honor you got. I don't think I would get that. That's a very high honor reward. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Rank four and a forty renown or more. You guys have sixty-four. But like that's like a. I need to do a lot to get that. I think. We did a lot. I don't know. I feel like I don't deserve it. You guys took out a space entity that was hell bent on destroying the Imperium, right? Yes, but... Uh, yeah, i.e. those are rank 4 or more, with a renown of 40+, plus. you guys renown of 64. Dan, take it! Just take it! <sighs> Look, with the fact that we have power everything... Right, and I imagine the whole team would get get that. And, what and, is and it? the fact that, uh... Boko will be throwing things that should not normally be thrown at a space marine against us anyway. Yep. Very well. Get every like, bonus you can. We're good. Like the, all of those greater demon things that we fought should not have normally been thrown at a kill team. That's they true. They tried to kill us the last three sessions. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi. Gone. Yeah. Oh, rude. Sorry. I'm getting. I'm getting. Oh, like, bells wanted me to move. Oh. So I'm gonna become a terminator. Soon, TM. I got a Crux nice. Terminatus. Nice. Oh, is that a set of armor? Uh, no, Crux Terminatus is a badge of honor, yeah. and having that badge allows you to get a Terminator armor. And only oh, that. Shit. I don't have enough renown to equip it, so I'm just gonna so, set this one out for now. Boko, I was gonna wait till the end of the session to ask you this, but since we're already talking about this stuff, um,. If I, I, I believe I'm at the point now where if I permanently burn through my fate points, like, naturally, and I get killed or something, I can become a Dreadnought. Yes. Well, well, the record, remember, you still need, like, 5,000 XP to do it. Yeah, And you true. need to have a fate point left and then burn it to do this. Okay. Got it. So, you can't suicide yourself to get it. No, I, I understand that. Um, yeah. So, I'm not saying it's going to happen this session, but I just wanted to... What? Put that out there. <laughs> what do you mean, what? I hope it doesn't happen this session. We're not exactly doing combat here. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Unless you've been training for two months. Training to be integrated into a robot after his demise? I don't think he can do that. Nope. I mean... If you screwed up your Medicaid roll, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That is, not a heroic, that is not a heroic death. Yeah, it's not. 
you're right. Valiantly fighting against a scalpo? I don't know, man. Seems pretty heroic to me. Hacksaw, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> that last mission, had you died on that dropship, I probably wouldn't have you it. Yeah. Yeah. But it is possible that if I die... Yes, I'd, I'd imagine now it is possible for you to become a Dreadnought. Right. Yeah, you need 5,000, but you do need 5,000 XP just on hold. Right. Plus, you have to complete some great deed. I Which believe we've accomplished that now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And there you go. You just need 5,000 spare XP and zero fate points. Right. Yeah, take yeah, you down to... If I remember correctly, you need to burn your last fate point to become a dreadnought. Yes. Well, that's the only way to get zero fate points is by burning them. Yeah. But it it can't be like you burn all your fate points, then you die, then you become a dreadnought. It has to all be the your last fate point becomes it. All the prereqs say is requirements zero fate points. Run around with sixty oh. plus. Yep. Unless I performed a great deed, not be a librarian and have five thousand XP to spend on purchasing this. All right, try now. Yeah, and that's it. But you're going to be out of action for the duration of the mission, though. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because you're dead. So it better <laughs> be towards the end. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, guys, you're going to see Kamikaze Tesseract now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You mean he wasn't already doing that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am kind of the weirdo of the group. You have been face thinking a lot of things you shouldn't be. Well, here, here, another thing is you tend to roll high rolls when you don't want high rolls. Yeah. What can I say? Let's I'm a high roller. One time, let's not forget that one time he crawled into a vent and nearly blew us all up. <laughs> and we had to point at the direction of the fucking lights to, yeah. Yeah, that was so, hair raising. I'll try to make that very difficult. One of two things would happen. You guys would have went down the hole and got through, or you would have went, went somewhere else. Oof. Which is that big giant monster. <clears throat> but he decided to come to you since you guys were uh, going somewhere else. How cool. Well, Oof. it's better than that in fighting what was in that room. I had a lot more nonsense in his room that you had to deal with. So oh, can we uh, enhance my bolter? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, bolters. Yep. And I a can rifle roll tech use. Uh, yeah, Godwin Deus pattern storm bolter. That's the storm bolters, the twin. Is it a twin or is it a single one? It's two that I've made identical. One moment. Oh, okay. So I don't know if Boko wants to count this as a single weapon enhancement or two weapon enhancements. Did I give you that? I thought I thought I gave it to you already. The uh, pistol nope. was that the infernal you, pistol? Yeah, you did the infernal pistols. Oh. Okay. Is that what you not? Oh, you're doing you're upgrading everything. Yeah, because I've never had a chance to upgrade yet. Man, that power armor roll was amazing. I've got 70 ballistic skill now. Not bad. <laughs> Let's name the variant of your rifle. Keep four. I'm at uh, 72, and I already have it maxed out for ballistic skill. Let me know if you guys are <laughs> crafting or who I missed. All right, I am that, back. I have like an 85 willpower when making my uh, psychic tests. Oh, good. Nice. And an 85 willpower when resisting psychic tests. So, all of these bonuses are four. Four. Four, four, four. All right. Holy crap. <laughs> it has a... Blast four? Wait, what? Wait, that has a blast four? Yeah, one of them is a blast four. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. Is that the purifying burst? 
Well, yeah. that's a once per combat thing, though. Still! I mean, that's kind of what you do already. Like, you just fire in a cone yep. and you kind of kill the cone of enemies. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he comes in close and blows shit up. It's like, it's like technically, it's not that much of an upgrade. But yeah. yeah, but Blast allows the damage to transfer to everything in the Blast range around I'm it. Aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. So, uh, densely packed enemies are just dead. Yes. If they weren't dead from my psychic powers, yeah. <laughs> Tactical spacing. Oh, damn. Righteous Fury. Plus 1d10 damage. Oof. Do I need to... Oh, Wait a minute. Fuck. I need to make another d10 and it, think to the roll. Is, is Righteous Fury just Righteous Fury the ability? Or is it an additional D10 damage? Just I think it's an, an additional. Fury. An additional. I think, I think additional. that's yeah, like like the other one. It's just an, an addition to what you have now. Alrighty. Added on top of what you got. Another one that rolled plus to chaos, heretics, and demon entities. Hell yes. Does anybody else need anything upgraded? Uh, probably my basic kit bolter, now that I can just use it freely in addition to also being able to use my four staff at the same time. Right, actually, question, how much uh, things do we have left? How many upgrades do we have left? Um, depends. Did that count for one upgrade or two upgrades for the bolter there? Uh, it'd be just one set, so one. All right. If I listed we should it have one... another two. The list is one is one. I'd imagine Kobor's legs counted for one as well. <laughs> yeah, that'd be re retarded. Yep. Oh, there's a foot, uh, there's a leg, uh, there's a kneecap, uh, counts as six. <laughs> so, so how many? We should have, um, I believe, two left. If I'm counting right. So we will have two left, you say. All right, you want to go ahead? Yeah, I would just. Like to bring my bolter with it specifically upgrading uh, accuracy. All right. And remember, anything that you uh, upgrade with my stuff, I'm absolutely giving you that plus 10 to roll. All right, here we go. 3.1. And 6. It's pretty decent. And remember, Poco, I'm uh, asking him to specifically upgrade uh, accuracy. For, for what? For, for a bolt gun. Oh. Uh. Actually, if we could just create like a, uh, what is it, one of the, is it a scout rifle or a, uh, what, what's the rifle one? It's the more semi-audit, but more range one. Uh, the scout rifle, the sniper. Hang on, hang on. Because the way I play, you know, I move or I, and I give everyone a buff, but I can't do anything other than that, so... If I do hunt to shoot, it's going to be like one shot because that's all a half action gives me is one shot. So some kind of weapon that uh, does greater single shot damage. Uh, that depends, I guess. Do you want to make it long range, short range? Uh, well, I'm a very melee focused guy, so... Melt a gun of some sorts? Plasma gun of some sorts? Melt a guns are real short range. Yeah. Um... You're Going thinking point sniper? Point. Well, here's a sniper I generate if you want a sniper rifle. <laughs> one handing a sniper. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I no. I'd be double handing the sniper rifle because my power armor just has the staff equipped. Okay. Mm hmm. So he has two free hands. Yeah. See, I, thought, I think the sniper rifle should deal more damage than that. But I could yeah. be really wrong. 
I think like the stalker border is stalker pattern border is more applicable to be a sniper. Yeah, uh, well, the uh, the X. I'm imagining you can add your psy psychic bullshit to that. No, the X just means it's explosive damage. Oh, okay. I was like, what did that X mean? Oh, it's completely silent though. That's nice. Yeah. Also, kind of fits the character because Kakara Dons are uh, very skilled at moving stealthily and staying hidden. Oh, I see what the bonus is in it on then. Five clip size and it has a two shot burst. Oh, man. That's some damage coming down range. Not as much as my bolter, but. Yeah, but he fired 500 meters. He can literally scout the, the hallway keep, keep, for you keep guys. Mind, keep in mind, 500 meters is the first range bracket yeah that is considered short range right i i don't actually get that plus 10 bonus until the second range for so example if a sniper firing rifle, at 500 to a thousand meters a sharpshooter's rifle in the gothic weapon section in rights of the battle has a range of 250 as it's like yeah so this thing's rifle. doubled range already Keep in mind, as long as you aim carefully, you still get that plus 10 to ballistic skill, which also, I'm imagining, stacks with the aiming bonus. Yeah. All right, then. I would like to buy a storm shield. And Ooh. that will be 35 requisition yep, out of 40 you, you. I get. Yep. And Mr. Tech Marine, may yes. you please enhance my storm shield? Storm shield? Thank storm you. shield. How many more? You got one more techie, uh, one more. Yeah, let me, let me just count to make sure I'm right on that. Yep. Nine. And. Yep, you're good. Well, I'm gonna. It's a storm shield set, you said? It's a storm shield, yes. Damn, my man's a Terminator. Not yet. You're gonna be. Soon, though. Yeah, because they have that... Yeah, I mean, you'd still be able to... Uh, you won't even need to jump anyway. You just blink and you're in melee. That's what's great about those guys. Blink! Hey, that's a slow big guy. Mm, okay, teleport, boom. Yeah... <laughs> And teleport behind someone too, get a surprise round, maybe. Yeah, Crat him up. I would not want to go up against the fucking Terminator. No, no way. Well, this. I, I have not seen any mention of them being able to teleport in Terminators? this game. In this game, right. I mean, in Deathwatch. Oh, okay. Well, I mean. The they can teleport. I, I yeah, miscounted. I miscounted. The shield is nine. So we have okay. one after. And I succeeded on the shield. Alrighty. There's your shield, by the way. About so. Uh, what? Okay, Ages of the it. Emperor. <sighs> oh. Uh... So, whatever stats you have, uh, add those abilities to it. Ooh, that's I, nice. Oh, four of them, or...? Yeah, you get four. Okay. Yeah, you get four. Holy shit! Okay, that so last even... one's pretty dope. Plus two. Hold on, let, let me... Hold on. So... Uh, all incoming attacks, plus two. All right, so let me just... Reflect that on my sheet.
Okay. Eighteen. Yeah, okay. Shield bash. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Bolstering resistance from nearby allies. Ooh. Plus 10 to toughness. Of psychic powers, they might influence or other supernatural threats. Not bad. Not bad at all. So it's a deflective field. 50 50 chance of just negating a range attack for you and an adjacent ally. Uh, Once per combat, though, so not as super amazing. I mean, still. I do have a. It's still great. Uh, yeah. Storm shields have an innate power field, uh, which is slightly better than Iron, Iron Halo. No, it's actually worse than Iron Halo. Wait, is it though? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. The description uh, says it's better, but it's actually worse. If I can, where is it? Uh, I remember it's like a forty. Roll a higher percent. number. Keep in mind, uh, Space Marine Iron Halos are uh, better than the standard Iron Halos. That's true. So it's yeah. it's probably better than a standard Iron Halo, not as good as a Space Marine Iron Halo. So a Starter Storm Shield protection rating is fifty-five. Uh, Iron Halo is 50. Oh. Of course, the overload row is worse on the Storm Shield, but technically, it's 5% it's five, five better. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. Sorry, I read that as lower than I first saw it, but yeah. But yeah, if you do roll 1 or 10 on that D100, though, it stops working. Yeah. It's still pretty good. Pretty good. To be fair, it's just overloaded. It can be fixed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It stops working until it's fixed. But it's a negative 30 tech test to uh, repair. Cobra's got that. He can handle Cobra's it. Cobra's got that. Yeah. Uh -huh. made, com made combat, he'll just run over, smack it with the hammer, done. Problem solved. Yeah. Probably. Or he just mega fails and that hit just makes it worse. Don't jinx it. I mean, knowing how he rolls, he probably will get like a 99 or something every time he fixes it. <laughs> Straight 100. He just rips it off of his arm and throws it on the ground and steps on it. Fixed. Thinking they'll be fixed. Yep. Crushes it with his new robot legs. He fixes it like an orc would fix it. <laughs> he just ends up being all kinds of heretic. He, he straps a black rock to it. Done. He's gone. That was, a nice, uh, that was a nice throwback moth to our mission to the Black Rocks. Yeah. The streets Black Rocks. Oh, man. So, are we good? We should have one more upgrade. Does anybody else want it? You can upgrade your server arm if you want. Tess. Oh. Uh... I'm actually happy with my servo arm the way it is at the moment. <laughs> why, are you, why are you snickering about? You can upgrade some of your other gear if you have anything. Alright, let's see. Oh, <sighs> shit. I'll do my nothing. Who else needs gear they want upgraded? I'm not in the mood to upgrade my own gear. Not yet. I mean, if nobody else wants it at all, I could upgrade my melee weapon. But I've never had a chance to use because it's okay. garbage. Alright, I'll that do that. Maybe won't, won't be garbage this time. Oh. Alright, let's see. Tech use again. Jerome. Me Jerome. Oh. Bound. There we go. Alright, those last three rolls are Brazor's melee weapon. Give me the name of that weapon. Uh, Baptismal Mace. It is a flail. Ooh. I've been carrying that around plus a, uh, a shield. 
and I've never had a chance to use them because I can't use the shield with uh, my twin guns. What's what's the name of your weapon again? And it's, it's oh, uh, it's in uh, Death Watch chat. Oh, all right. It, cause it, see that? Uh, okay. I can uh, I can add nine requisition to the pool of requisition spare requisition points. Oh yeah, anyone I can add five for anyone who wants it. Just put oh, somebody chat. who might want vengeance friends. Uh, I'm giving twelve right now. I've got 40 to spend, but I don't use requisition the way you guys do. Or at all. How do you use well, it? Hey, if we combine enough of it, somebody can get a Terminator. Well, all my stuff is supposed to be based on uh, money. So... Uh, you would have, well, with your character with your requisition, uh, you could just directly use that to acquisition bulk items for the team if you wanted to, or a requisition from... Uh, your group of inquisitors, to, like you do with the holy rounds, so you can pull that stuff down. All right. So should like, I just, like, should I just spend all forty to get some more psychon in rounds then? Is well, that... they are quite rare. I don't think you will be yeah. able to find. I, them. I'd imagine it would take all of my all of my requisition just to get a couple more. Also, have we spent all of our psyamo rounds anyway? The inquisitor orthodomos took all that stuff. Oh, okay. that was, that's all his possession. He, anything that is unique to him, he took with him. Brasora is transitioning you guys to the Southern Inquisitor for this other sector. So he'd have to reacquisition it through his network to bring those resources from the local area to you guys. So, 40 requisition, you can uh, get a crate of uh, 500 of them. 500 rounds. Alrighty. If you want that. Do you guys want to acquisition vehicles or anything like that? Well, we are going to Space Hulk. I don't think any vehicles can fit there. That's true. Can we get a Predator tank? We can blow up the ship, sure. Of course, of course the tank commander asks for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can I'm gonna give post you guys something horrifying on how to crew it. All right, I'm gonna post something horrifying into the Death Force <laughs> chat. I think I am a dreadnought. All right, let's see. You mean let's Terminator? See how horrifying this is. No. Dreadnought. Oh, dreadnought. Oh, oh the big God. tank guy. Sweet. No, I mean like yeah, I kind of became him, but judging on my my armor, total. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, your guy just got really bulky and beefier. Yeah, you have your, your your left arm at seventeen armor. Work. Shield. Shield. Oh, the shield. Okay. Yeah, Damn. Sense. I listed the conditions, which add okay. extra armor. I'll be right back. My normal armor is 11, and then 14 on body. I am a monster. <sighs> God damn, I'm a sleepy head today. Alright, so you guys ready to get uh, dialogue from the Inquisitor as you guys approach? Uh, real quick, that uh, those side cannon bolts, was that all of our available requisition combined or 40 requisition to get it yeah, all, right, yeah, all, I'll, of, I'll, all of your requisition yeah I'll burn all mine to get it done I don't think I can work on tr traitor space do they I don't think they do work on chaos space I, I think he's just buying it just in case you're dealing with demonic they shit. work on psychers and demons and warp entities right so that's all I the guess against chaos possessed. might surround itself with I guess but that's the space marines that I can yeah. work, sure. Alright, question. Anything with the corruption rating, I think, also? Let me check. If that's the case, you're going to be dealing extra damage with those assholes. I already do that. <laughs> <laughs> so are we, are we able to call it here? I hate to have to say that, but... I mean, we are prepared, I think. 
somewhat. We're just yeah, gonna. Yeah, I can still do the the intro to it, and then we can call it if you want. Uh, and stop sure. right as you guys are launching your vessel. Just just a s something quick, Boko. That sniper rifle that I got. It does one d ten of damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I increase that to two d ten just to make it on par with literally every other Astartes weapon? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Though it does fire twice, but... So does yeah. a bolter. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, like everything uh, has a single or double shot or is four for the, like, just standard starting bolt much, guns and what. How much requisition is left in the pool? Or how much do you have left? Nine? I have nine left. Yeah, just use that and you can do bigger rounds. You're like, oh, you use the piss poor rounds. You use the bigger rounds. <laughs> okay, well, what about... For future stuff, then do I have to spend nine requisition every time to give it an extra D10? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how cool. much ammunition do we wish to buy? I should say. So a hundred per one requisition. How about that? That's probably better for you. A hundred rounds per, per one per requisition. Yes. Okay. You turn from stealth ammunition. To the stealth big ammunition it's a little bit harder to come by but it's sure. like we'll oh. make we'll make do <laughs> and of course they have to modify the gun a little bit to accept the rounds whatever i'm not gonna they they just they swap out the barrel Whoop, there you go so we'll just say nine to the barrel swap and ammunition so I will be right back real quick. Yeah. Um, as I also said previously, Mike Karnoff would be rigorously training, pushing himself to his limits. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Potentially strength even harder training, yourself. Strength training, weapons training, what are you doing? Uh, strength, toughness, just, just, just the whole thing. Just like, just All right. getting better in a new, a new way. So uh, I guess ten rolls you can divvy up among those three, those three roll or whatever rolls. Let's say so strength. How many ro if, rolls you want to do of that to increase that? Uh, it's going to be minus twenty on the training for all all, all stats you want to increase. Okay, so I can do ten rolls on any stat I want. Is that correct? Yeah, or you can divvy it up to as many stats as you want. Yeah. All right, let's see. You can do 10 uh, on one or, or 5 on one, 5 on another, etc. I tried to do 6 on toughness. <laughs> it's just minus 20, is that correct? Minus 20. So just do 6 rolls on that. All right. And you can fade point if you need to. All right. And you're gonna fade point that, right? I'm gonna do all the six rows first. Okay. You no, know, if we're doing all fade points, might as well this be a upgrade session. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to end it on the the mission starting. That way, when we go to the next session, you guys are just in combat. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna spend my three row, uh, my fade points. Uh, would Ericlidus give his possibility shield, or would he not? I don't think he would be around. To be uh, are you going to hover around this asshole as he's training for two months? Uh, no, I was just hovering when he was critting my stuff, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm assuming um, you guys are going to sit there, hmm, possibility shield and everything. No, I've got other shit to do. <laughs> right, your character's uh, upgrading weapons, upgrading all this. So you could do psychic training too, I imagine. You probably spent the better part of a month getting all the equipment. Uh, all right, so I spent six My guy's rolls. just relaxing that. Relaxing when he deserves it. So you're meditating mm -hmm. in between, kind of that like couple of weeks, yeah. Okay. All right, so I succeeded five out of six rolls. I did. So you failed five out of six. No, I have, I succeeded five out of five out of six. Right. So let's see. What is your toughness at right now? Currently, seventy four. Seventy four. Okay. Let's see. 
add two more to your toughness. All right, so and I have four more s things left. Uh... And it's not Inquisitioner rolling for you. God, I wish that thing would default back to GM. Sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, the quiz is like, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Here, here's two. <laughs> nice. Actually, I'm going to spend all of my 10 rolls on toughness, to be honest. You're going to do, okay, so... All right. So four, four more rolls. I'm back. What one, one succeeded. Hey. Do one D. This would be round to the nearest hall, so it goes negative. So it'd be one. One, yeah. Positive hole, so it'd be one. Add another one to you. Alright, thanks. So what are you rolling for here? He is ball training for the next two months, busting his ass. So he's increased his toughness by three. Oh, we can do that? He did it, yeah. You gonna train too? Yeah. I, I was guess. pushing myself to the limit, basically. This two right. Months. I'll go for agility training. If that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So you spent a better part of the first month upgrading weapons, I imagine, with uh, Tesseract. Yep. You upgraded. Yeah, okay, so then you have one month, so uh, five rolls. Just straight rolls. Yeah, that's because he, he he spent. He's I, like, just, I was just clarifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or agility, agility. Sorry. Yeah, you're doing agility training, so it'd be your agility modifiers. It'd be minus twenty. Yeah, you oh, did well, minus twenty for me. Minus twenty, then none of them succeed. You fate point them. Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? I've got three fate points to spend, so. And uh, anyone else doing training? It's just spending time, right? You're meditating. Are you so? What is that? Hey, do? one success. So let's see. That's gonna be. And it'd be round to the nearest hole. Ooh, four. There you go. Hey, that puts me at a solid fifty agility. Nice. Yep, not bad. Cool. Then I would also like to do some training. Yep. Uh, and these these will be, I imagine, temporary for this mission. Oh, so. uh, okay. Because otherwise, that'd be very busted very quickly. Yep. <laughs> Just so, how long our missions usually go. Right. So the temporary. Good. Yeah, yeah. So temporary for the mission. So what do you want to train, Yelmug? Psychic training? Well, if I do that, I can get close to 100 on any psychic roll. So yeah, let's do psychic training. Okay, so you spent about a month as well upgrading yourself with Tesseract, all that shit you upgraded, integrated stuff. Yep. So you get five rolls as well. And just willpower rolls? Willpower. Minus 20. Minus 20, but then all my bonuses from my other stuff. It's the straight. No bonuses, straight roll. No, no bonuses, so I'm not training with my gear or anything. Your gear is being... I mean, yeah, I guess you could train with your gear. I mean, you gotta train with your new gear to get used to it, right? That's true. Okay. Yeah, I'll allow it then. Yeah, minus 20 though still. Cool. Okay. And I'll fate reroll that one. Okay. One, two, three, four.
Test Factory, uh, I'm sure you're gonna you spent the better part of the month upgrading their weapons. Yeah. The last sure. last month you spent recovering. Cut in half. Yep, recovering. Get you got cut in half and yep. recovered. Yep. Permanent uh, bonus is definitely still, better than temporary. We're missing two. Uh, we're missing another roll there, Yellmug. You're supposed to do five rolls. Oh, five rolls. Oh. Yeah, five rolls. You get five Sorry. rolls for the month. So I got two more rolls to make then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and just tell me how many out of five you succeeded. Okay. All five. You can add four to your uh we'll put another. Sweet. And it is temporary just for the mission though. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then dude, you're meditating, so is your character focusing on any particular as you're meditating and relaxing? Just relax for like one week and then the rest of it. Uh let's see. Do uh ballistic training. You're still going to do ballistics training? All right. Yeah. How does that work? Just roll? Yeah, five rolls. And a minus 20? Yep, because you didn't upgrade any weapons, did you, dude? No. Oh, okay. Then uh, you would have, so so it'd be eight rolls. Because your training is just how does Dan's character? So. If that roll is three points higher, I would need a modifier to any of them. A psychic check. It'd be <laughs> ballistics check minus twenty. So you're training your ballistics, right? Yeah. How many is that? Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can fade point any ones you want to re-roll. Yeah, just gonna use all of them. Okay. And then just tell me out of the eight how many you succeeded. Five. So five. Okay. Wait, give me. Out of the five. Out of the eight, how many did you succeed? Five out of eight. Yeah. So add three to your blitzic skills. Oh. Everyone trained up. Everyone good to go. Yeah, I believe so. I think we're yeah, done. Right. Okay, let's, let's finish it off with the meeting of the Inquisitor. Yeah. So I would like to voice this guy. Uh, I'll voice him because. Who doesn't love uh -huh. a good exterminatus? <laughs> Alright. Stepping into the hangar, addressing the kill team. Cough them, fall over dead. Uh, gather round, kill team. We stand on the precipice of a perilous mission. One that demands your utmost vigilance and resolve. Today, we venture into the depths of the ancient space hulk. Known as the Maelstrom's Embrace. It is a derelict vessel that went dark, lost to both time and reason. Our objective is clear, yet shrouded in mystery. What you seek within the depths of the Maelstrom's Embrace is a relic of immeasurable importance. A black metallic cylinder object? Question mark? Adorned with glowing red runes. The nature of this relic is classified, known only to a select few. It is said to hold both great power and immense danger. When handling it, exercise the utmost caution. It is not to be trifled with, for its purpose and origins remain a mystery. Be warned, kill team. The Maelstrom's embrace is infested with the servants of chaos. Basic chaos space marines roam in star corridors. But beware, for there's an elite team among them specializing in the hunting of relics. 
you could have skipped the basic, but yeah, chaos space marines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking ass! It literally basic took bitches. Basic. I like how <laughs> I, I like how I wrote cylinder. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Yeah. It's a, it's a cylinder. So it's a black cylinder with glowing red runes. It's an it's an Eldar cylinder though. Yeah. <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> The Chaos Elite team you face may hail from any of the chapters we encountered earlier. Be prepared for a formidable adversary. The relic they seek could grant them unimaginable power if they succeed. Since we haven't fought any uh, Space Marines from any chapter earlier, uh, does that mean there's no NCS. actual Space uh, Elite Space Marine team? We, we, Wait, fight we did fight that one Anseus. He counted as kind of chaos. Right? Oh, he doesn't so, know anything about that. So this Inquisitor knows nothing about what you guys went through. So he's, uh -oh. that's how he's addressing you guys. So oh. his information may not be as complete as your guys is like, we never face any of that stuff. So right. that's something you can address to him. So, so which Space Marine chapters would that be? Because we haven't fa faced any Chaos Space Marine chapters. And he looks at you puzzled. And you the chaos him. elite team you face may hail from. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Wait, so I, said that. That guy for. I don't think Wait this a minute. is actually the Inquisitor. I think it's just a robot in disguise. <laughs> I, I've I've actually had that encounter before, where the Inquisitor was just a demon in disguise, and we killed him immediately. Oh damn! Inquisitor yeah. Chat GPT. Hmm. This Inquisitor keeps repeating himself. Maybe we should investigate him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Screw that in check, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys really want to pull that thread? Yes. Yet. I've done oh it before, it's happened before, let's do it again. I'll oh, kill an Inquisitor, I don't give a shit. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey. I became an Inquisitor <laughs> doing that last time. Maybe not That's this time. you, but not Rosora. I see right. no, you yes. are not the kill team I sent for. Who is your Inquisitor? Orthodormer, sir. Inquisitor Magnus Blackthorn is typing after leaving us on bread. <laughs> Brazora, who sent this team? Oh, yeah, Orthodormus. He sent me a new team? Where's the librarian kill team? Why would he spite me with this lot? Oh well, I will work with what I've got. That rhymed. That's kind of rude of him to say that, but... Oh no, he's rhyming like a villain. My this guy's a demon! Kill team oh god. ...is currently in decorruption chambers. Having faced three greater demons, they need some time to decompress properly to not become corrupted. So they are currently unavailable. But don't worry. This team, even without the support of my librarians, was able to take out one of the greater demons by themselves. With my assistance. <laughs> and, and a super magically overpowered artifact that did most of the damage. But... They did it themselves. We also destroyed a couple of Eldar ships on top of that. Yeah, I killed some Eldar. Well, no, I'm actually gonna, not going to say that. So this kill team is more than capable of heading into a mere Hulk. Basic Chaos Marines. Especially basic. when fighting basic Space Marines. <laughs> 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 What a cream of a crop. 
of a new crop. Of a new crop. Slightly smaller than the previous ones and less psychically inept. Ooh, yeah. And yes, yeah, I said inept I... and not adept. Yes, but now you have a uh, psychic guy who can almost never fail any psychic power. That's why I said mess inept. Sounds like you don't roll a 97 or above. Actually, a 98 or above. Wait, okay, did you what learn what happens if you uh, just reach your limit? Like, I know you have that ability of just maxing your limit or something. I mean, you just succeed. Unless, well, I mean, with penalties, if there's any penalties involved, then you know. Oh, that's, that's still included. And double okay. rolls. Well, honestly, any any doubles uh, makes me roll in the chart, regardless of my result, whether I succeed or not. Yeah. One thing to you know, he's asking for their lip black brarium. Yeah, that was my kill team. team. So. I see. At least I got one librarian I requested. I care little for your achievements. Prove yourself to me with your blood. Show me you're worthy of the newfound fame. Brizora, I would like to have a word with your Inquisitor after this mission is done. Very well. Black Legion, the He's largest and most powerful of all Chaos Space Marine chapters. The Black Legion was formed from the remnants of the original Sons of Horus Legion. They possess a vast array of resources, including heavily, heavy artillery and specialized Chaos War machines. <coughs> <coughs> God, that screws me up a bit. Oh, what, what did it? Oh, why did it do that? Ah, he's repeating himself again. I declare <laughs> this inquisitor a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, that was a joke. Right. Oh my God! What if he's an Iron Man? Uh -oh. For legal reasons, I'm rolling observation mastery. No, he's fine. You know who this guy is. I'm just making sure he's not been corrupted or anything since he's No, no, you know it's the same bloodthirsty asshole you've always known. Your determination is a testament to your loyalty and unwavering faith. The Emperor guides your path, Kill Team. May the light of the God Emperor shine upon you as you venture into the abyss. The fate of the Imperium rests in your hands. May you emerge victorious and return with the relic securing it from the clutches of chaos. So when he said any chaos chapter, he just meant the one, because that's the only one he's mentioned. <laughs> yes. Well, he assumed it was... Uh, <coughs> a, a kill team he was familiar with and worked with before. Because your your uh, librarians would have worked with him. You personally wouldn't have gone over there. You would have sent uh, sent your kill team on a mission over there with him previously. So he assumed see, he was talking to your librarians. See, military intelligence is an oxymoron because if intel <laughs> says expect 200, you should expect 20,000 like so having worked with military intelligence uh it is the opposite of that the intelligence is usually always on spot but it's the people who listen who choose not to listen to that intelligence report and make other decisions got it yep and this so, guy's an uh, asshole so he's not you can verbatim tell them this is going to be here prepare for it and then they won't prepare for it and then accuse you of not telling them that that was there Damn. You can, yep. you, can, you can refer to the incident in 1967 where Israel attacked a UA, USR Navy ship. Well, they, they knew it was a naval ship. They still apparently... I don't know why they attacked They just attacked, I guess, to get it out of their waters. I mean, it's like no, uh, it's, multiple stuff. It's like why, when like we invaded uh, Iraq after 9-11. Intelligence said there are no weapons of mass destruction. But the people in charge decided to ignore it and go anyway. Because they wanted the oil. Well, so they they were pushing a narrative. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like, about. Stuff like that. I mean, it was a little bit more complicated than we want oil, but yes. Uh, 
that's all they got. It's a desert. Not much else there. Well, yeah. Well, I've heard some now a more allied nation as opposed to a hostile nation. Right. Saddam's gone, and they're they rely on us now. Uh, same with Western Syria. Apparently, we have forces over there, and we actually fought the Russians there too a little bit. Mm -hmm. no, the Wagner Group, at least. All right. You, no, we didn't fight them. We we, we did. Uh, oh, we obliterated them. them. We obliterated yeah, sorry. them. We didn't fight them. We just <laughs> That's right. We lost no forces. It was like what 30, 30 Rangers versus two hundred. Uh, Five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred. It was a whole. Well, it was like fifty Wagner forces <laughs> and then like two hundred and fifty uh, uh, locals. It was a lot. And they just got obliterated by our air force and uh, artillery air... crews. Yeah, Air Force artillery, all that stuff. It's like, hey, dude, you're, you motherfuckers on our side. Uh, you sure you want to do that? Oh, you're still here? Okay, well. They, they didn't even get a chance to even shoot a shot near that oil uh, place they were at. Yeah, because we have apparently we have a line to the Russian side. Tell them, hey, let's coordinate. Let's not fuck each other up. And then the Russians said, nope, those aren't ours, which is technically true. They weren't. Right, they're doing that bullshit again. You know, that's because how the Russians were always play. Wagner mercenaries. They're not technically the Russian army. Right. They did forces. that. With, or, yeah, they did forces. Forces. So Yeah, they, they did that. And then afterwards, they were like, oh, no, those words are ours. Please stop shooting them. Yeah, please stop killing them. Okay. See, irregular forces do not have to abide by the Geneva Convention in accordance they, to international law, which is no, why. They, they still do if they don't want to be tried in international criminal court. Well, yeah, but like, remember that we haven't signed the U.S. and Russia haven't hmm. signed the convention. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> so, like, you're breaking a law that they're not even following. <laughs> yeah, but if other forces win, then they can enforce that law on you. See, it's <laughs> called the Geneva Suggestion because we only obey it when it's convenient. But anyway, no, we don't right? obey it because we don't. We don't enact it the law. Well, yeah, but like informally, we might still follow the guidelines unless we want to cause an international upset. But. but like sending cluster munitions to uh, war zones? Cluster munitions yeah. are legal so long as they're not used in urban environments. Well, and you're, you're assuming that. You know, if we did commit war crimes, that we would make it public. Whereas, yeah. no, we're not. No nation in their right mind is going to do that. They're going to sweep it under the rug. But anyway, I digress. Your didn't boarding the craft UK... awaits. Do not fail me. <coughs> oh, holy didn't shit! The UK just uh, announced war crimes, but they just granted immunity. <laughs> oh, incidents in Afghanistan. Eh, never mind. I haven't heard that one yet. It, historically, every nation that has been at war has committed war crimes. It's just an inevitable part yeah, of geez. war. You can make the can U.S. Make versus rules. Japan has committed so many war crimes against the Japanese people, and then the Vietnam War, so many war crimes. Yep. Yep. It's, it's just an village, inevitable yeah. fact of war. You can try to mitigate it, but it's like, you know, it's it's like punishing someone for murder. It's going to deter some people from doing it, but there will always be murderers in society. It's kind of like that. Like, you can't... You can't ever stop it all from happening. You can mitigate it, but you can't... You can't completely get rid of it, but anyway. All right. Well, I think that's this session down. Unless anyone else has anything to add. Nope. Speaking of the emperor, I hope you guys are ready for what's come about to come next. I mean, it's chaos. So. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Oh man. Oh man. Well, oh, not shit. just chaos specifically, it's space marines of equal or better caliber than you guys. Right. So. And yep. a lot of them. All right.
right. Well, that should be interesting. Yep. All right, and I will see you all next week. Yep, see you next week. So anyone up for Solaris or no?